So I've got a location for the lean-to here, but what I want to do is I'm going to bring this out of this sapling and obviously going to attach the main, the main arch there. Good height. Got natural jute twine. Obviously, it'll rot down lovely. It's not going to leave any trace behind. Get a small loop into there, just to give me a tie on point. Obviously if this was going to be a permanent site I'd be using 550 paracord just to give me a bit more strength and durability on it but as we're only here for the weekend we don't like to leave trace of any type easier to take down at the weekend so obviously now we've got to do now is just scouring the wood try and find as much dead fill as possible don't want to be uh, coppicing trees if we don't have to and we'll get the limbs set up going that way this is going to be the front facing obviously my hammock and the main fire pit um, and the raised bed inside okay get back to you soon <laughs> So what I'll do guys is I'll come back to you in a little while when I've got a bit more limbs on the on the lean-to just trying to fill out all the back as best I can with the old deadfall in the wood. Get back to you soon. 
Don't get me wrong guys, it does take it slightly longer to do it this way. But obviously it's much better for the wood if we can use what's already on the ground or you know, hanging from the trees as deadfall. But it is worth doing. I could probably coppice what I need within a 10 meter square of what I needed here. But I'm not gonna take resources, you know, that I don't need. So, uh, you know, keep the faith, search the wood. And at the same time, I'm also searching for natural tinders at the same time I'm looking for wood. So obviously if I see anything I might need a little bit later, I can go back. But my keen eye is out for the Dryad Saddle. You know, the summer edible mushroom of choice. So hopefully we can find some later. Speak soon. Oh, hi gents. I've just been down to what I call the Jurassic part of the wood. Bracken, seven, eight foot tall. In amongst it, the brambles, fist thick, Izula 2 comes into its own, slicing through like butter. Fantastic, fantastic knife. Whew. Just gonna put this on the far side. Yes, it's bracken. I have seen a few people on YouTube using bracken as like bedding. Um, I'm never gonna criticize people on YouTube, but I'm just going to give you my personal pers you know, perspective. I would never use it as um, bedding. My reasons why? Well, for a start, obviously, it's a green plant, so it's got moisture inside it. Um, so obviously, if you're on it and you're crushing it, you're letting all that moisture out, and that moisture is going to go onto your blanket, your sleeping bag, your inflatable mattress, but it's a damp bedding. It's not a dry bedding. Yeah, I'd much rather use like spruce branches or something like that if I've got to use natural, natural bedding. The other reason is you need a mountain load of it. Seriously, if you're going to sleep on this stuff, apart from it being damp, you're going to need it to be about three, four foot high because by the time you get on it, it crushes down to nothing because obviously it's, um, it's hollow, you know, so it crushes easy. So not as a bedding, but there's something to fill in the gaps, just in case we do get a light rain. Um, it is programmed for Thursday and Friday, um, even though it's the hottest day of the year today. And boy, is it a warm one. Um, so I'll get this up on the side and I'll get back to you later. <laughs>